Hello everyone. My name is Marissa with Creative Me. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a pretty inexpensive wreath. Now we're not going to just focus on making one of your normal dollar store wreaths. We're going to find something that's more quality, but it's still going to be under $10. Now I went to Joann's Fabrics and Crafts for the Labor Day sales. They had everything for 70% off, so I found some pretty quality looking things. And I'll show you how to make a nice wreath with those things. Follow me. All right, now let me show you my supplies. I got this wreath that was normally $10, but I only paid $3. And I have six picks that I got two of each. There are these golden colored pine cones with some sparkles, a little bit of extra sparkle and twirly parts. Um, now these were each uh, normally $3, but I only paid 90 cents each. And the same with the rest of my picks. I got two of these pine cone, frosted little pine cone ones um, with three little pine cones on each of these, regularly $3 and I paid 90 cents. And then I also have these two antlers with little cute berries on them, one little pine cone and some greenery. The same $3 ones for 90 cents each. So together for all of these materials, I paid $8.40. And then I did pick up a cute little ribbon for a dollar at the dollar store. The only other supplies that we're going to need are some little clippers to clip off the ends of our picks if we need to and a hot glue gun um, and some glue sticks. So let's get started. All right, so the very first thing we're gonna need to do is make sure that you plug in your hot glue stick and set it somewhere where things aren't gonna catch fire, very important. And the next thing is we can check the back of our wreath to make sure that there isn't any hooks on here. Some uh, wreaths that you can get may have a little hook on it if it does have a hook on it, you can always make sure that you put that at the top. Let's pretend that this is a hook. So you would turn that around and if this was your top, then you might want your embellishments to be at the bottom or at the side. Wherever you decide to put your embellishments, make sure that you know where your hook is in the back so that you can uh, make sure your embellishments hang in the direction that you would like. Now I've already made sure that I took my little pieces and splayed them out the way that I want them to look so that it looks exactly the way that I want it when I put my picks on. So the first picks I think I'm gonna use are these little pine cones. Now I'm gonna arrange them so that they go in the greenery and you don't see too much of the pick below. Now once I found out exactly where I want them, I'm going to hot glue them in place. Just a little bit of hot glue will do it. That way, if you decide later on down the road that you want to take these picks out and maybe put something else in this wreath to switch it out for a different holiday, then these will easily pull out. You won't see too much the little glue in the bottom between the little pieces when you do that. You can always reuse them as well. So I'm going to put my next one opposite direction. That looks pretty good. Make sure my little picks are facing the right direction. I'm not too worried about the ends of these picks because they will be covered either by the greenery when I move it around a little bit to hide or by my other picks. So let me glue this one in. Just going to put a couple of globs of glue in there. And I will fold that down, give it a couple of seconds to adhere good. Last thing I want to happen is for everything to fall apart once I hang this up. There we go. Alright, my next pick I'll use are these pretty 
wispy little golden ones. I picked these colors because I wanted it to be kind of like a, a farmhouse looking um, brief. I don't want it to clash too much with my decor. And if you'd use just the muted colors, then you can use this all winter long. You don't necessarily have to only have it out for Christmas. Stand that. Put a little more glue down here. Now I always think that it makes things look a whole lot nicer if things are symmetrical. Now you can do it however you like if you just want to have a few picks and do just one side. Now I'm going to put a bow down here, but it would look just as nice if I just did one side and a bow than doing the two sides. It's definitely all up to you and your preferences. Now my last picks are going to be these pretty little antlers. And of course, no deer were harmed making this video. <laughs> now, I'm going to stick this down in the top because I really, really want these to stand out out of the rest of these picks. I want them to kind of showcase on the edge there. Now, if you find that some of the picks that you choose to use have too long of a stem or you can't find a way to hide them correctly, then keep in mind that there is wire in the bottom of these and you'll have to use some pretty good pliers or clippers to clip these off. Now, I'm not uh, needing to clip mine off this time, but it's always uh, best to be prepared in case you do decide that you want those clipped off. Time to reload. And make sure to stick this in good and tight somewhere where I can get a good amount of glue to keep it intact. Once I have all of my picks in place, I'm just going to kind of rearrange my wreath around. That way it can kind of hug the little pieces here and there, make sure that it's hiding the parts of the picks that I don't want exposed as, as much. There we go. Okay, so this part is finished and now we can work on the bow. Now this ribbon made from burlap and lace, I got at the Dollar Tree. And it has little wires on the uh, inside edges, which is perfect for when you want to puff out your bow. So I'm gonna make a fairly sized bow. So I wanna take my end to the middle of where my bow's gonna be. And then I'll loop around. So I'm starting in the middle and then I'm looping around. Now I want my bow to have two loops so I can puff it out really nicely. So I'll wrap it around another time and end right there in the middle. I'm now going to cut it off right there. Now this is the easiest way that I have found to make a bow that anyone can really do. At this point, I'm going to glue all of these little pieces together, all these layers. So I take my hot glue gun and just do a dot 
in between each layer. There we go. And we'll just tap that in place. Okay, now for our middle part of the bow. I'm just going to lay it over the middle. Flip it over on its back side, and I'll tie a knot in the back. That way you don't see the knot, but you'll have two ends peeking out from behind. Since this is the back side and you want your lace to be showing, you're going to want to angle this down. So if you put another little bit of hot glue there, push that down and that will stay in that position. Remember we're looking at the back of this. So the same thing goes with this side. We want our lace to be on the front side. So we'll turn that around as well. finished. We don't want our bow to be flat. And I always like to finish off my bow's ends so they look real pretty. Now you could do an angle cut or you could do a little triangle cut. So I'm going to cut toward the middle to make it a little triangle. Now I like to do the triangle cut when I have made bows with these wired pieces in them because you can always curl your ribbon a little, just bend it a little, and it gives it that nice little flow. So I'm going to do that with both of these ends, and I'm going to fluff out these ends of the bow. So I've made it a little fluffy, and then I pull it apart from each other. Now you don't have to get too particular at this point because as you glue it on your wreath, you're going to want to readjust it again. But just to kind of get the look of it so that you know how to place it good. Alright, so let's bring our wreath back. Now I have to decide where I want to put this. Since I already have a couple of these and I don't really want to hide these pine cones with my bow, I'm going to want to pull them, since they're all on wires, pull them away a little bit. And then I'll put my middle of my bow here and then I'll be able to adjust these how I want them. So I'll put my glue in the middle. There you have it, a nice farmhouse chic wreath for your door or wherever you want to hang it. Now let's go find a place to hang this up at my house. Now I found a beautiful spot for this right on my china cabinet in the dining room. Please like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. And stay tuned for more crafting videos.